Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today I'm going to talk to you about the 2016 Springdale Summerlin Series 2720BH. It's going to be a fantastic bunkhouse floor plan. Uh, we'll take a look when we go inside. It's really creative the way they laid it out. But let's go ahead and start on the outside here and then we'll head in. So right up front, it's going to be your propane tank cover. You have two 20 pound propane tanks in there. Behind the cover is going to be the tray for your battery. Now one of the things I do like about these Springdales, you have nice high diamond plating on here, so any kind of rocks or anything that get thrown up by the tow vehicle are just gonna hit this diamond plating and not dent up your aluminum. So we come around to the side, you can see here, nice big pass-through storage, wide door on here, which is great. And then if you look up top, you'll see right over here is going to be your power awning. So nice big power awning. You can see it spans pretty much the entire length of the coach. This one does have two entryways and the awning is going to cover both of them. Also underneath the awning is an LED strip so you don't have to worry about hanging your Christmas lights at night. And you have outside speakers. Now those will be Bluetooth capable so they're controlled by your multimedia center inside. So if you have a smartphone or tablet or other cellular device, you can go ahead and connect to that uh, via Bluetooth and control it wirelessly. Nice and easy to get in the coach. You can see here you have three steps. First step is going to be nice and low. Also, right here is the uh, outside plug-in. So you have two plug-ins there. Again, underneath that awning. So if, you know if you want to hook up a griddle there for some cooking or uh, maybe if you want to hook up a TV out here, you can do that as well. Same thing with the back entrance, you'll notice right here, three steps to get in, so again, nice and easy to go ahead and do that. Power jacks on this coach, so uh, that's something that's going to be great, makes it nice and easy, you know, you don't have to sit there and crank them up and down, just touch of a button, and then that'll go ahead and do it for you. Come around to the back of the coach, you'll notice mounted to the bumper is going to be your spare tire, hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, it's always nice to have one. Not only do you get the big pass-through storage up front, but take a look at this. You'll see when we go inside, this is going to be uh, the rear bunk, but you get huge extra storage capacity back here, which is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, also on the uh, off-door side, you, you're going to get your hot and cold outside shower. So if you need to rinse your feet off or anything, you can go ahead and do that there. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2016 Springdale Summerlin Series 2720BH. Let's go ahead and start off on the kitchen. You can see right here, nice big countertop, which gives you a ton of prep space. And when you have big countertops, that means you're gonna have big storage underneath. So you can take a look here. See you have nice, deep, uh, full extension drawers. You'll have two of those, as well as a uh, big cutout here. This is great for a trash can, excellent place. That way when you're, uh, the trash is full, you can just take the bag right out. You don't have to drag it through the entire kitchen. But excellent space there. Also right here, you can see another full extension drawer cut out there. Uh, you have a spice rack here and additional storage there. So a lot of good storage in the uh, underneath on the countertops. Single bowl sink, large single bowl sink. Uh, I like the single bowls from the angle that you can put in bigger pots and pans in here without having them uh, you know, slop to one side or the other. So that way you can put a big pot in here, fill it up with water, let it soak, whatever you need to do. But it's nice to have the, a single bowl sink for that reason. Also the nice tall high rise faucet. You can, this is going to be a pull out faucet. So it's nice and easy to go ahead and wash those dishes. Uh, right here, it's gonna be LED lights. I'll have LED lights throughout make it nice and bright use a lot less energy up top you'll see great pantry space uh, stainless steel microwave there's the weight of the unit just over 6,000 pounds so not too terribly heavy uh, this is going to be the hood with light and a fan three burner atwood cooktop with high output in the front and underneath that is the conventional oven one other thing of note, you'll see right up here, you do have two plug-ins, so if you need a place to plug in a coffee maker, blender, whatever it may be, you do have plenty of room to go ahead and do that. Rounding out the uh, kitchen is going to be our fridge and freezer. You can see right here, plenty of space there. Uh, you'll notice that you do have a tall cutout there. Uh, so if you do have orange juice, something like that, you can certainly put that in there. Also, this unit will run off of both LP and electric. It's also gonna have automatic switchover for you. So if you are running it off of uh, LP, as soon as you plug into shore power, it's gonna switch over to electric. 
Now right back here, we can go ahead and open this up. This is really cool uh, because this is uh, gonna be very versatile. If you need to put the kids' clothes in here, you can do that, but it also makes a great linen closet. So a perfect place to put a lot of your towels or whatever else you need. Uh, they're just really doing a great job of utilizing the space. So this is the second door of the coach. Makes it nice and easy to go ahead and come in. Uh, straight, uh, straight shot right into the bathroom, which we'll take a look at in a little bit. But first, let's start off back here. So you'll see you get great storage in the back. Look at that. How many times do you say, man, I wish I had a bunkhouse with some hanging storage for the kids? Well, there it is. So great hanging storage there. Plenty of shelving space here as well. Uh, also along the wall, there is a mounting bracket for the TV. So if you want a TV the kids can watch, can certainly do that. Plug in down below, as well as plug-ins up here for the TV. Take a look at the bunks. You see you have double wide bunks here. So if you need to uh, sleep two kids per bunk, you can definitely do that. They both have a light as well as a nice big window and a curtain for privacy. Now, as I mentioned, if you need to use the bathroom, you can come right in this other door, right in here's the bathroom. Uh, toilet, plenty of leg room there. You can see your vanity, nice big countertop. So you have a lot of room, plug in, med uh, mirrored medicine cabinet up top. And then to this side is the tub shower. Uh, you see you have the skylight up top there, which is gonna let in a lot of natural uh, sunlight and give you some additional headroom. So you come back out into the main living area. You have some additional storage right here. Again, you know, versatile storage, whatever you wanna put in there, you certainly can. Good storage there. And this is going to be our uh, slide out U dinette. So nice deep uh, U dinette, big slide out here. So the advantage of the U dinette, a couple things. One, when you have bunks in a unit, chances are you're going to be bringing kids, whether it's your children, grandchildren, you know, maybe they're bringing cousins, friends, whatever it may be. You're going to want to sit around a, a lot of people around a table to have a meal. So this allows you to do that. The other great thing about it is if you have any additional adult guests coming with you and maybe they don't want to sleep in the bunks, these table legs do pull out. The table will drop down, put some cushions on there, and a U dinette makes a huge bed that two adults can easily sleep on. Uh, if we take a look up at the ceiling you'll see that this unit is going to have your AC here that'll be ducted throughout so you have ducted AC as well as ducted heat now this is the entertainment center so right uh, smack dab in the center is where your TV would go you can see the mounting bracket location uh, you have all your hookups over here including two USB ports in case you need to plug anything in there whether it be cell phones or any other devices good storage up top here as well as your storage right down below then this is the multimedia center. I did touch on that when we were outside. And again, as I mentioned, this is going to be Bluetooth capable. All right, let's head on around. We'll take a look at our bedroom. The bedroom gives you a queen size bed, uh, electrical outlets on both sides, as well as nice big shelves. So that way, if you need to charge tablets, cell phones, uh, you can go ahead and do that. Or if you have a CPAP machine, you are able to put that on either side of the bed. The other cool thing, this one right here actually features a clothes hamper. So this lifts right up, which gives you access to your pass-through storage. So you can go ahead and put a laundry basket down there when you're done, just toss your clothes right in there. Uh, LED light in here in case you want to do a little bit of light reading. Up top is going to be a shelf and on both sides you'll also have uh, hanging space for any kind of wardrobe. Uh, window on both sides lets in a lot of natural light as well and is going to allow for a cross breeze. All right, folks, it's pretty much going to wrap it up. Uh, again, this is a 2016, this is the Springdale Summerlin Series 2720BH. It's really a very unique bunkhouse, the way they've laid it out. Uh, you know, it gives you a lot of outside storage between the pass-through up front and then the storage underneath the bunks in the back. You have two doors, so you can just walk right into the bathroom instead of traipsing dirt through the whole thing. Nice big U dinette in the slide out. You know, TV location for the kids as well. It's definitely something you want to come and take a look at. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those on the video, or you can always give myself Ian Baker a call here at American RV, and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. Thanks for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.